it's the beat for me. It is the beat for me, okay? <laughs> guys welcome back to my channel my name is Jasmine if you're new here and welcome back to another video please make sure to subscribe and join the family if you haven't already because I would love to have you here and as you can see from the title below your sis is here with an Eid makeup look it is that time of year again where we can strut and slay on Eid day okay I'm so corny I can't but I feel like this Eid is going to be like our first Eid transitioning back into normalcy because we're gonna actually be open so today that's why I really wanted to do a soft glam look because I I feel like those are so much more realistic to wear all day long on Eid day versus like a super colorful look you know what I mean at least that's the vibes I feel like I might be going for this year I'm not sure and I also wanted to do this as like a full face using rare beauty or at least majority of the products and get more in tune to other shades of like their blushes or anything like that that I haven't got a chance to try before as well as this eyeshadow palette that I have from them that I'm dying to use for a makeup look and as you can see the colors are so beautiful I feel like they're perfect for an Eid look so yeah you guys already know the vibes i'm gonna zoom you in closer grab your matcha grab your snacks even grab your water stay hydrated sis okay and let's get into this beat all right, so now that you guys are zoomed in closer, it's time to get into this palette. Guys, I'm so excited for this. You don't even understand how long I've been just holding on to this palette waiting to film a video with it, so ta-da! <laughs> I am obsessed guys. It's the packaging for me. It's the chicness for me It's the creativity in palette design for me because honestly when's the last time you've seen a palette That's not just been in a regular just square format, you know I feel like this is just so different. It makes them stand out So I'm gonna start off with this shade right over here as my transition color and then go in with the darker brown But I'm gonna see if this actually shows up for me as a transition color because I'm not sure it does kind of look light So if not, I will We'll use this and then go in with this one as my crease color to define the crease basically and I'm just gonna pick that up on my Sigma soft blend number 10 brush and then you guys already know I'm gonna start from the outer corner and work my way in I can definitely see some color there but it's a little too muted for what I want to go for but I'm gonna go ahead and just apply it on the other eye as well just to make sure it's even out you know so I can have the same hues on each eye even though it's not giving what I need it to give I feel like this will be a very pretty shade to like have on the lid if you're going for like an all matte moment, you know what I mean? But as a transition color on my complexion, it is too light. So I'm just gonna make it even on each side and then I'm gonna go back into the palette. You know what, actually guys, I'm gonna change my mind. This brown shade right over here, I think I wanna use it to define the crease. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Ilia Beauty bronzer as my transition color because I wanna keep this eye look more on like the brown tones and now when I'm looking more at this shade it's giving me more purple than brown and this is Ilya Beauty's novelty night light bronzing powder And as you guys can see, it's giving the perfect shade of brown, nice and soft. And now I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty palette and take this shade right over here on my Sigma E33 Diffused Detailed Crease Brush. And again, I'm gonna start from the outer corner and really work the pigment inwards. Okay, I'm so glad that I decided to use this shade as a crease color because it's definitely giving what I envisioned it to give. I feel like it would be too dark for a transition color unless I'm going for like an intense smoky eye. So this is perfect just to add some definition back into the lid. So I'm just gonna continue to blend that out and do the exact same on my other eye. And then I also make sure to keep going back in with the same brush that I use with my transition color to blend everything out so that we don't have any harsh lines. I wanna make sure everything is flawless, especially for Eid, okay sis? We want a proper blend. We don't wanna be out here in these streets with a chunky eyeshadow look, okay? Make sure you guys take that time to blend. If anything, for those of you guys who are like me before I started to actually have a public Instagram account, I only used to post twice a year on Facebook and then twice a year only on Instagram when Instagram started to pop off and that was literally for Eid. <laughs> I would make sure I look good those two days though, okay? 
All right guys, so I went ahead and cleaned up my lid off camera using my Sigma eyeshadow base primer in the shade Persuade. If you guys are regulars here, you already know the drill. I like to do just like a little cut crease or like a half cut crease just so that when I put on my shimmer, it really pops, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna go back in with the Rare Beauty palette and go in with this shade that's been calling my name. It is so beautiful, so shimmery, and I hope the pigment comes through too because this is definitely giving me more Eid vibes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just pick up this Sephora brush that I have. It doesn't really say a number on it, guys, so sorry about that, but it's just a regular eyeshadow brush. Oh, wait a second. This is a glitter. Okay, I'm gonna try to see how it looks just with my finger if I just apply it on. Okay, yeah, that is stunning. I'm gonna go in with a small brush to really get the glitter in the inner corner. I don't even remember the last time I went in with a glitter. I like that it's like a bronzy gold shade. So like, even though that it's super shimmery, it will still not be too crazy to wear all day for Eid. You know what I mean? At least for me, guys, you guys know I'm extra. So for me, this is toned down, all right? <laughs> Compared to what I normally do, this is very toned down. And I'm just making sure I really press it onto the lid so that I don't have glitter transferring everywhere. I wanna make sure that it's really packed on there. Okay, so I'm loving how that looks right now and I do have some glitter fallout But I will just wipe that off after with a wet wipe I'm gonna go back into the rare beauty palette and take this beautiful gold shade and just pack it in the inner corner I already started to do that a little bit because I wanted to test it out and see if I like it first If you know what I mean, and I think it complements it really nicely so I'm just gonna continue to pack in that color all right, and I'm good to leave my eyes as is for now. We'll dive back into putting the final details once we complete our base. I'm gonna go in with complexion and I'm gonna take this Rare Beauty Primer. This is their Pore Diffusing Primer and I've used this primer before and what I really loved about it is how blurring it is on the skin. Like if you have texture, it blurs everything out, which I really love. I mean, who doesn't like blurring out your skin? Cause literally that gives you a flawless finish in the end. And I'm gonna go in with their foundation, of course, and I'm gonna be taking the shade 400W. I've still yet to find a foundation from them that I feel like is the perfect match on the dot because I feel like trying to match your shade online is the most difficult thing ever. So I'm excited that everything is opening back up so I can head to Sephora and try to see if I can find a better match. But for now, we'll be able to make this work. So I'm just gonna go ahead with some of that. And I'm just gonna be taking my ColourPop sponge to blend it out. And for concealer, of course, I'm gonna take one from Rare Beauty as well. And this is in the shade 370N. This is my first time trying this shade because I don't know if it's just me, but I've kind of been liking the look of using a more um, neutral concealer underneath the eyes than a yellow one, just because I kind of feel like it makes my whole complexion or base look too yellow or too golden at some points. Especially with this foundation, it's more on the warmer side. So I kind of feel like it helps to balance it out. So I'm gonna see how I feel about this shade. And I wanted to go with one that's definitely a little bit more brightening underneath the eye so my eyeshadow look pops more. So I'm gonna go in with the same color pop sponge and just blend that out. All right, guys, and I went ahead and set my concealer with this Huda Beauty powder that I've been obsessed with lately. This is their mini baby bake baking and setting powder in the shade Banana Bread. I just love how it brightens up my under eye. I'm just obsessed with it and it looks literally flawless. And now I just wanna go ahead and finish off my complexion by just adding some bronzer. And I'm gonna take this Sephora Pro Contour 79 brush. So before we go ahead with highlight, I'm actually gonna take a little bit of that Huda Beauty powder on this Rare Beauty brush and just pack that underneath the eye again, just to capture any fallout because I wanna go back in with the palette and just smudge out my lash line with that dark brown shade from the palette that we use to intensify our crease. So just in case, if I get some fallout, this helps to catch it so it doesn't mess with the rest of our complexion basically. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up a little bit of the shade and just allow the brown to meet that gold that I packed in on the inner corner. It's crazy because I remember the time that I would never smoke out my lash line. I swear, like, if you guys look back at my old videos, I would never smoke out my lash line because I hated how it looks. And now look at how much the times have changed. Like, I actually go ahead and do it a lot more often. And you guys seem to really like it as well. So it kind of makes me feel like I like it more because before I used to think it would not suit me. Since you guys are always hyping up the posts where I do smoke out my lash line, I kind of feel like, okay, maybe, maybe it does suit me. Maybe I need to do this more often. <laughs> 
we're doing things not in order today guys i'm going back in between eye complexion so just roll with me okay guys i'm just winging it today so i'm actually gonna go back in complexion and use this rare beauty blush because i've been dying to use this shade i think this is the one that i've always seen jackie Ina use i'm not sure but she always goes in with a beautiful shade of pink and i've had it for a while but i haven't got a chance to try this shade in particular because i'm always using that orangey tone called love it's like this beautiful burnt orange and, and it's honestly the first blush that i fell in love with using orange on my cheeks i never would have thought that i would like that shade on my complexion but it just suit me so well so i kind of got obsessed with it but now i kind of want to go back into using more pink shades and i also feel like pink blushes have made a huge comeback in makeup trends like everybody's obsessed with the pink blush so this blush is actually in the shade grace now it's super super pigmented guys so you're gonna want to go in with one dot honestly i would say go in with one dot of the blush on each cheek and then do one cheek at a time because it dries down very fast so you're gonna want to make sure you blend out one side first before you go to the next Okay, I love how that looks. I feel like it's definitely giving me more of like those TikTok blush moments, you know what I mean? But I'm gonna go in with some highlight and I'm gonna take this one from Rare Beauty. And this is their Liquid Luminizer in the shade Transcend. It's honestly my favorite highlight from them. It just sits so nice on the skin. I'm obsessed with it. So I'm just taking a brush and I just put the highlight on the back of my hand and I'm just picking up some of that product and then just blending it in like that. I find that I prefer to do it this way than to just, you know, apply the highlighter on it and try to blend it out after because I feel like it dries down so fast. So now I'm gonna go in with some eyeliner on my waterline and I'm gonna take this one by Too Faced. This is their Killer Cashmere Killer Eyeliner and you guys already know how much I love these killer eyeliners from Too Faced. Like the pigment is everything and it does not smudge throughout the day, it stays put. Now this liner is more of like a cream shade and I really feel like I wanna use this because it's been so long since I've done like a cream and I feel like it really awakens the eye and this one's not as harsh as like a white eyeliner. Just to switch it up for once, I feel like I always go in with like a brown or a black eyeliner but i feel like during the day for eve you can either go in with a nude or a cream eyeliner or a brown eyeliner to make it look more natural and now i'm gonna go in with some mascara i'm gonna take this one by laura mercier and this is their caviar volume mascara all right guys and i'm back lashes are on and i went in with velour's run the world lashes and i feel like they complemented this makeup look so perfectly i am so happy now i'm gonna go ahead and finish the look with some lipstick and i'm gonna start off of course with my huda beauty lip contour in the shade rich brown which is honestly my favorite go-to lip liner at the moment And in the center, I'm gonna be taking this lipstick from Bobbi Brown. It's my first time trying it. This is their Pink Nude Luxe Lip Color. I love their packaging, so sleek. And then lastly, I'm gonna top it off with this Rare Beauty Nearly Rose Lip Balm. But yeah, guys, that brings me to the end of this video. This is the final look that we got for our Eid inspo. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and liked the look enough to want to recreate it for your Eid look. All right, guys, so my lighting keeps dying on me, so I am going to speed up this outro. But thank you so much if you made it all the way to the end of this video. I hope you guys have an amazing Eid with your loved ones. Make sure you subscribe and join the family if you haven't already. Turn your bell notifications on so you don't miss out on any of my uploads. And like always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Yeah.